In today's video, we are going to be unboxing the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch, the new Apple Pencil, and the new AirPods. No, I did not win the lottery or fall into a pit of money. Michael is able to get a discounted iPad Pro through work, but when he's not working, I am going to be using it. So we have the iPad right here, Apple Pencil, and then there is a promotion running right now where if you get a new iPad Pro, you get the new AirPods Pro. I currently have the first generation AirPods and I really like them. My ears, I swear, are like really tiny or something because I cannot do the in-ear headphones no matter what size tip, they always hurt my ears. I need the more like standard earbud where it's like plastic and it doesn't actually go into your ear. These will be Micah's. So the iPad we have now is Micah's like 2014 old iPad with an OtterBox case that our cat loves to chew on. The Indy 500 is this weekend, so there are literal fighter jets flying over. We live so close to the track and they do events all weekend. And it's so loud. And Brogan is sleeping. <laughs> like, legitimate military fighter jets. Okay. So this will definitely be an upgrade from this iPad. Unboxing the AirPods. You can't like rush an Apple product, it'll never open as fast as you want it to. So we've got the actual AirPods in the case. We got each of the little AirPods in there. And then it also comes with the charging cord and the extra ear tips, earbud tips. I think that's what they're called. And then we have the Apple Pencil. So it's got a little bit of protective plastic on it. Oh, let's drop that twice. And that is it. That is the Apple Pencil. It's got like a matte finish I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it to be more like the knockoff Apple Pencil I bought off of Amazon that's like really shiny. So like I said earlier, we got the 12.9 inch. It is 128 gigabytes and it is in space. Okay. We wanted to get the bigger one because you get more use out of the screen. And especially now that they have the new iOS that allows you to split screen, having a bigger screen means that you can do more at once. I didn't realize how much the new iPad was like a laptop. You can use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse with it. So we've ordered a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse to use with it. It came with the free AirPods, which I thought was a super good deal. I already have the AirPods and I really like the first generation, but now he'll be able to use AirPods. This is coming a really good time for us because my laptop about two or three weeks ago just the hard drive randomly went out on it. I've been trying to get into the Apple store to get it fixed but with everything going on in the world they really didn't have a lot of appointments. So we've been sharing his 2014 MacBook Pro for all of my iMovie editing for YouTube for anything we need to use a computer for. We've been sharing it. That's why it's so nice that it's kind of like a computer. We essentially now have two computers. Some apps I'm really interested in trying for it are Adobe Draw which is what I use to do all 
all my faceless portraits. I have a video on how I do that. I'd like to maybe try Procreate. I've heard really good things about it and that it's like way better, but I just haven't tried it yet. I'd like to get good notes to help me with studying for the NCLEX coming up. And then finally, I would love to try iMovie on the new iPad. I'm curious to see how it'll work because I use most of the screen on our laptop when using iMovie, but since the screen is a pretty decent size and you can use a mouse, I feel like it could work. So some of the first apps that I downloaded for the iPad Pro are YouTube, of course, GoodNotes, Pinterest, iMovie, and Spotify. I still need to get the YouTube Studio app and Adobe Draw, but for now, this is what I'm gonna be using. I really like the GoodNotes app. I have never used anything like it before, and I don't know, I just think it's like, I guess I've used Adobe Draw, which is kind of similar, but for taking notes, I feel like this is going to be a game changer. And we're getting one of the paper-like screen protectors, so that will just make writing so much easier. But yeah, I really like it. I think it's really fun, and I'm excited to see what else I can do with it. I know how you hate the cold. Spend your life searching for more. So yeah, that is our new iPad Pro, the 2020 version, the 12.9 inch. I think it's gonna be a great addition to the house. I love that it can do the split screen and I'm really excited to study for my NCLEX on it. I love the new operating system is more like a laptop. I think that that was like a great move on Apple's part to kind of like move away from making them just like a large iPhone. I always hear people say the best computer is the one you have with you and now you can have your computer with you anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think or if you have your own iPad Pro. Bye guys.